The trickle-up theory first started when Coco Chanel was the first to adopt this theory when she integrated military fabrics and attire into fashion following World War II. The classic t-shirt began as an undergarment in the working classes and is now a fundamental piece of an everyday wardrobe. This is something that was started by street culture or also known as the lower class and works its way up to high luxury items. It was also started in the 1970s. As we have been sheltered in place this past year, this spring is a whole new era. Y2K fashion has broken through and it is everywhere this spring. Amid the pandemic, we are seeing vivid colors that make you excited for the upcoming season. We are feeling nostalgic, so let's bring it back. On the right of the slide are two pictures from WGSN that focus on some Y2K trends in the high luxury field. As you can see, there is Off-White and Fendi. These are some examples of how the Y2K trend has trickled up. They are used everywhere on every platform. As you can see, a huge celebrity, Billie Eilish, is wearing Chanel patterns and Fendi in a Y2K style. We also have Prisca Vera in a runway show, Gucci showcasing some neon bright colors, zebra print and fur. And up here we have Prada with that logo. That logo has been everywhere this season. This specific Prada logo and nylon combination has been everywhere. I've seen it on hats, shirts, purses. They're just a staple in everyone's wardrobe for the Y2K trend. In the Alexander Wang runway show, they're showcasing a net fabric and lace with an all black outfit. And that's really trendy. Those two textures are really coming back. And lastly, we have Kylie Jenner in a rhinestone black t-shirt with just Dior across it. This has been everywhere, just like the Prada. The rhinestone effect are really coming back as a big Y2K trend, and you're seeing it everywhere in fast fashion and high luxury. Over the past few months, my friends and I have been thrift shopping, um, shopping on Depop, and shopping at a bunch of stores to find the best trends for the summer, and a lot of them include Y2K trends. In the next slide, I will showcase a bunch of photos that I've taken of myself or of them in these cool pieces. In this slide, I have a photo of myself and my friend. My friend is wearing um, a camel color that's really going to be popular this spring and has been popular with these baggy pants and a color block top. In the second photo, I am wearing a corset-like top. Those have become really popular in the past few months, past year. This is a corset-like top. All these photos are photos I've taken of my friends or been with my friends. In the top left-hand corner in the all-black outfit, those are IMG Affines with a mini skirt and a low plunge black shirt that gives off Y2K vibes. And in the second one lower to that has a suede brown jacket that is a staple in everyone's wardrobe this coming season. The middle photo showcases a photo of my friend, but the main part of this outfit that I am pointing out is these little pink heels with a silicone jelly rubber um, strap over them. And these she found at Goodwill for like $3, and they're a perfect example of a trend that you can find at a thrift store that was seen on the runway. The next two photos on the right of my friend showcase a lot of colors that have been seen on WGSN and fashion snoops as the selected pantones of this spring. The tight mock neck long sleeve shirt was really popular back in the early 2000s and have come back with a wave colorful pattern. Baggy jeans have definitely come a long way since skinny jeans were such a rave a few years ago, but we're back with the wide leg, straight leg baggy jean fit. The first two photos are pictures of me in the Zara wide leg jean that have become really famous these past few months. My friend's photo on the right also showcases a bunch of spring colors with a lace detailing. Those types of little tank tops have been really a staple in people's wardrobes this season. Thank you for watching my Y2K trickle up theory and here are my references. Thank you.